Hello, everyone. I'm really glad to see you in this room. And as you can see, on this event, we have a lot of news about Magento. And from some of you, Magento 2 is a news for some of you already not. But I'm really excited to present for you a Magento 2 technical overview session. And my name is Dmitry Soroka, and I'm working as Magento system architect. <laughs> Thank you. And during today's talk, uh, we will see all plans that we have for Magento 2. We will review goals that we are trying to achieve with Magento 2 project. We will see which new functionality will be included into Magento 2, uh, how we appreciate our community and which improvements we are going to add uh, into the project based on the, our community feedback. And definitely we will see in which state project is right now. Okay, let's start with the plans. First of all, I want to clarify major, Magento major release version. Before, we not released any major version except Magento 1 and continuously extended Magento functionality with newest release. Magento 2 will be the first release where, based on our version convention, we are allowing to break backwards compatibility. And we will break it no, not without reason. We will break in backwards compatibility in Magento 2 in order to improve the product itself. And with Magento 2, we will break backwards compatibility and we'll do system refactoring. Uh, we will not rewrite the system from scratch, but there are a lot of benefits that uh, you can get when you're rewriting from scratch, but we're not going to do that, and we will refactor existing functionality, we will improve it, and even add new functionality into upcoming release. From the technology perspective, we're not doing major changes. We still will, do, uh, we still will work on PHP, just changing requirements to PHP version. Magento 2 will work with uh, PHP version 5.3 and higher, and we st still use Zen Framework as our main comp uh, library components library. We will keep support and of uh, MySQL, Oracle, and MSSQL that is already available in latest enterprise release and also could be uh, available on Community Edition. On JavaScript side, uh, we will uh, rework our JavaScript uh, functionality and we'll rebase it on uh, jQuery JavaScript framework. What will be included into Magento 2 release? Magento 2 will include almost all functionality that is available in Magento 1. Uh, we will uh, resync some of them and maybe some functionality that already not necessary in the platform, we will remove. I will mention some module uh, later. And we are planning to do a lot of improvements and add new features, which I also will show you a little bit later. And Release plans for Magento 2, we are going to release our product at fourth quarter of 2012. That's briefly about our plans and what are the goals for our project. The list is started with clear process and transparency. And transparency. Our team is closely working with our community. We have a big community and we have a lot of resources already opened for our community, but there are still a lot to improve. With Magento 2, we are going to share with community all our development and collaboration tools that we're using inside our team. Uh, we, provide, we will provide later a roadmap for the Magento 2 releases, and uh, we will uh, upgrade our public code repository more often. Product quality is very important aspect of any platform, and especially when we are talking about e-commerce. And unfortunately, for Magento 1, we don't have any automated tests that are available and could be used by our developers. Uh, for Magento 2 goals, we, uh, with improving product quality, we will add big coverage of uh, 
our code with automated tests, with different kind of automated tests. And we are working on uh, stabilizing upgrade process and installation process for the system. Performance. A lot of work our team is doing in order to optimize page load and generation time. We are thinking about better uh, vertical and horizontal scalability of our product. Even right now, like, uh, we're not limiting uh, our merchant with scalability because Magento scales really well. Uh, you can use multiple web servers for it and uh, scale your database as well. On product security side, we will improve server side validation and may, we will make it more straightforward. And in, we are introducing in our development uh, process automated validation for all top 10 vulnerabilities that I mentioned and OWASP lists. Magento is modular right now, but as you can see in our list, we have a goal that named as truly modular product. This goal address to build uh, loose camp, uh, to follow loose coupling principles in our application to provide to ability to enable and disable module from backend interface. We, will, we are going to work on modularity for our view level that includes our themes and skins and definitely we will improve backend modularity because a lot of our developers requires from us to customize admin part, but it's uh, implemented right now as monolithic admin HTML module and not so easy for developers to customize. We will do a lot of work on this side. From Web API perspective, we will extend functionality that's already open at with SOAP and XML RPC APIs and we will add support for REST and JSON RPC as well. Magento, as I, as I mentioned, already support Oracle and MS SSQL and, coming, and using MySQL as default database storage. With Magento 2, we're planning to add PostgreSQL adapter that will allow our merchants to run Magento with PostgreSQL. A lot of you doing Magento customization, a lot of you developing new functionality for Magento, but I think all of you know that it's not so easy because there are so many different ways to do that. And with Magento 2, we will try to make our code to help developers to add new features, uh, replace or disable some functionality or extend one in a single, straightforward way. With improved multiple languages support goal, we are working on uh, adding data entry on uh, a data entry per language for different enti entities. And now you can also have, uh, let's say, product information entered in multiple languages, but for that you should create multiple stores, assign different languages to stores, and in such a way you will have uh, ability to enter product information on multiple languages. But it's not so convenient in case if you have uh, multiple stores with same language under different websites. In such a way it will require from uh, data entry team uh, enter information multiple times for each store view. Magento when Magento was released, there was not a lot of documentation available. Right now, situation is much better. We have even our training classes. We have certification program that is launched on this conference with beta. And for Magento 2, we, uh, with decreasing learning curve goal, uh, we want to introduce documentation as part of the development process. In such a way, we will keep our documentation up to date and will help our developers uh, easily to learn our product. That's pretty much about our goals and I hope that they provide you the vision where we're going, what we are trying to achieve with releasing Magento 2. And now I want to share with you new functionality that we're planning to add into Magento 2.
A lot of customization our developers are doing on for related with stored look and feel. For that, they creating new blocks, customizing look and feel of uh, existing blocks, moving blocks around the page. And for that, they need to write now additional XML instructions that are call, calling uh, layout upgrades instruction. And this can do that. But we want to simplify this process and introduce a graphic user interface design editor that will allow our users to manage different page types, specify layouts for these different page types, reposition the blocks on the page, and customize blocks look and feel on the page. Everyone who developed Magento Sim based on any, any design template that was provided by a uh, graphic designer knows that it's not easy to find proper templates in Magento structure. Like, let's say, on a category view page, we have so many different blocks, like starting from header to footer. We have uh, different blocks in our left column, right column, even on product uh, grid part, we have multiple blocks uh, that combine it into this uh, grid. And for designers, in order to make it look as it's requested uh, by a store owner, it is not easy job. What we want, how, how we want to simplify it? We are planning to provide templates editor that will allow to work with page as with single HTML file. And designer, after downloading this HTML file, can prepare everything as needed and uh, just upload to Magento a result of his work. And Magento will put all blocks, depending on their positions, into proper places with removing uh, additional complexity for front-end developers. Safe upgrade between versions that is planned as new feature into Magento, we are going to implement as dedicated application that will allow store owner, before applying new upgrade to existing live store, to make preview of the upcoming upgrade. In such a way, he would be able to install Magento, to upgrade Magento using additional temporary database to check how it looks like, because after upgrade we will not apply, we will not change the code of existing store, and just after that uh, confirm upgrade in case if everything works fine for him. There are uh, much more uh, new features that are coming, uh, and we can talk about them really long, long time. But also we are doing a lot of improvements that are based on feedback of our community members. Very excited improvement that I want to share with you is changing uh, the module structure. It's actually not changing the module structure, it's simplifying module structure. Uh, in Magento, we have module files located in different places. Let's say you can find module design files under app design folder, skins files in different location, module classes are located in dedicated module folder, enabling file also located separately. And there are no reason to do that. And with Magento 2, we are combining all module files into one place and in such a way isolate module developer into single folder where he can do his job and uh, complete his module development process. We, we are going to improve uh, conf uh, resolving conflicts between modules. Let's say we have a situation when two modules override same functionality, like let's say product. One module introduces customization how product name is generated, and another affects product price calculation. Today, when you will install such two extensions, they will conflict each to other, and just one of them will work. 
With Magento 2, we want to eliminate such conflicts with providing multiple extent for class that is not natively supported on PHP uh, language level, but we uh, will do some tricks for that. And we will solve conflicts that are related with uh, database schema modification on extensions level. Another very excited for me part is an, an improvement is uh, uh, is reorganizing Magento structure into separate components. Uh, under component, we identify a group of modules that have high coupling between each other. Like let's say if we are take for example catalog related modules like. Catalog product cannot exist, catalog search cannot exist without catalog information. And coupling between those two modules are really high. Or let's say catalog rules uh, also require to request product information on category information directly from uh, catalog module. Those comp modules that have very high coupling between each other, we will locate into components. In such a way, we will provide for developer ability to use just Magento as component system. Let's say if you need to use Magento with catalog functionality and don't need to manage sales, you will be able to do that. If you need Magento as sales management system, you also can do and host your catalog in any different location. On presentation part, we are standardizing our templates functionality, and uh, right now in some templates you can find business logic. Even we presenting it as uh, not domain layer, still in some templates you can find business logic. We are working on elimination such code from our templates and make them more safe. We are working on modularity for our sims and uh, standardizing way how templates uh, will communicate to the models for requesting data uh, that they should display. Sims fallback. Currently Magento limiting Sims developer with a design interface uh, fallback limitation. Right now you can have just three levels of fallback for Magento sims. You can fall back from your custom sim to the default sim of particular design interface and then from default sim into base sim. And we, are want, to we want to eliminate this limitation because Sim developer usually are very creative and let's say if in case if they want to create different sim hierarchy, like I have my store sim and I want to customize it for different season and then in each season, let's say I want to create holiday sims, it would be great to remove limitation for, for, for fallbacks and allow sims to define uh, inheritance. And uh, this improvement will be available in Magento too. Another improvement that we are working on is routing process. We are improving our uh, caching techniques. We are improving translation mechanism, much HTML semantic, and very, very a lot of other stuffs. When we know what are goals for the project, what are plans for the project, which improvements and features are planned to be there, it is logical question in which state Magento 2 is right now. And we started the product from the process improvements. Right now our team are working with Scrum and we added acceptance criteria to all other tasks and stories. Why we did that? First of all, it helps us to achieve multiple goals. It helps us to improve product quality with a review and tests process. It helps us to improve documentation process. It helps us to improve product security. Again, we have review. It's helped to achieve uh, decreased learning curve 
uh, goal with introducing documentation into development process. Like with such small change, we already continuously achieving our goals every day. Uh, we, in, we are using full Atlassian stack as, uh, for, as our development tools uh, and are using Jira as issue tracker. Our documentation is based on Atlassian Confluence. Uh, Crucible is used for code review and we're using uh, Bamboo as uh, continuous integration server and FishEye as repository browser. A lot of results already we have on automated testing side. We introduced different kind of automated testing and later you, I recommend you to attend another session that will show how we are working with different kind of testing in Magento right now. We have unit testing, integration testing, uh, we have functional testing that are based on Selenium and we performing uh, on our system performance test uh, based on uh, GMeter tool. In continuous integration process, we have multiple builds that allowing us to control product quality from different, from different perspectives. We are running our continuous integration builds on uh, different RDBMSs. We are doing code inspection uh, with continuous integration and uh, of course we are running all our tests there. We did refactoring for some of our library classes and one of them is Magento Profiler. Right now it supports uh, different output methods and allows Magento developer to see profiler result in different formats like you can uh, get it in HTML, CSV or Firebug for example. And profiler was updated and allows developer to see call stacks 3 with uh, full picture of uh, six fans of particular calls. A lot of work already done on SIMS modularity. We removed base SIM from Magento and relocated all templates that were there into modules folders. In such a way, as I mentioned in previous improvements list, we making our SIMS modular and uh, now allowing module to deliver the initial templates that should be displayed uh, for the block. We relocated our skins under SIMS folders and providing ability for SIM to have multiple skins. We improved Seems, uh, we, we improve skins functionality with adding ability to have localized skin resources and in such a way you can have let's say one blue skin and uh, have different images let's say uh, German logo, French logo and English logo inside your skin. File structure of Magento also modified a little bit and reason of such modification was to provide simplicity for system administrator for Magento installation. We allocate one dedicated folder which is called pub folder where we moved all resources that should be publicly available. In such a way system administrator can point web server just to pub folder and uh, we will uh, remove Access, uh, remove potential access to another uh, resources like source code uh, from, from the web. A lot of simplification is going on Magento configuration side. Magento config it is, is not easy to understand and it's not everywhere formalized. Right now we are uh, cleaning it up and for example we are removing uh, definition for modules, blocks and helper classes. Because uh, we can live without this definition and use let's say convention over configuration principle and calculate a class name dynamically. Also we remove tables definition from configuration, we move field sets, nodes from configuration. Uh, all those changes uh, improve performance of Magento initialization. 
We are changing our auto load process, and as I mentioned, like Magento compiler is the first module that was removed from the system because there are um, no needs for it right now. We are introducing new auto load logic. New auto load logic is based on um, class map that allows to identify source code of the uh, file that contains source code code of the file from the map without needs in additional include passes that should be configured uh, in uh, PHP. In such a way, we're also removing overhead on Magento code pools. And as a result of this trans transformation that already done and all those changes that already done, Magento performance is already improved on 20%. We have code coverage for more than 15% of Magento source code, and it's growing every day because all changes that we are doing, we cover and quiz uh, integration or unit test. And as a result of this presentation, I want to say that our project right now have well-defined goals. We are community friendly because all our changes are based on your feedback and a lot of great improvements are on the way. And now I'm glad to answer on your questions. Okay. Sorry, can you repeat, please? Okay, the question was, are we going to remove EAV, right? Okay, there are no plans for removing EAV yet. We are going to improve performance on the EAV side because EAV as data, data storing template works really great because it not requires from uh, the developer to upgrade database schema in uh, case when he need to add additional uh, field to the some particular entity. And in this case, it's, it works great. Uh, the improvements that we're planning to do there, uh, we are going to improve performance for loading KAV metadata. Yes, please. The question was, will we have staging environments that will be separated from production environment? But can I just ask you, what is the reason of your staging environment? Because answer will be different, depends on. Do you want staging environment to be related with production? Like you can upgrade your product information on staging environment and then put. Uh, yeah, right now, this functionality is available as enterprise module. In enterprise edition, we have staging uh, module that helps you to do that. But uh, we're not going to add any additional functionality to that. Yes, sure. We've got a question from the Twitter feed. Uh, you mentioned component functionality in Magento 2, like having a catalog posted elsewhere. How would that be configured? The question is, uh, based on component environment, how component usage will be configured? The component will, be, will work as regular, a set of modules, and the responsibility of the component is to group module that are t uh, highly coupled each with other. And uh, how they will work, like let's say how you can enable or disable some component, uh, like on low level, it mean, it's means just disable or enable particular modules, but from interface perspective, we will provide better interface, like that you will be able to disable just group of modules. Okay, 
The question is, will we have clear upgrade pass, pass from Magento 1 to Magento 2? The answer for this question will be that currently, with in every place where we break in backwards compatibility, based on our process, we documenting it and we preparing uh, upgrade and migration pass that is documented. And there will be not a lot of changes from data perspective that you don't need to modify data. And if we will have some, we will provide scripts that automatically will convert your data from Magento 1 to Magento 2. From cont perspective, we will provide a clear upgrade pass for upgrading your extensions. First publicly available release we plan to have uh, in quarter three, in third quarter. The question was, uh, what was the reason of relocating view files into the module, right? Yeah. Okay, the answer for the great question. The answer for this question will be that right now, module developer from convenience point have to work in multiple folders. He should work on uh, block code and on models code in one location, should work on the templates and layout upgrades in another location, then he should do translation in third location. The reason why we moved, just to simplify development process, it is first one. And second is that we remove, we making Magento to be able to work without any sim installed, like uh, default visual representation will be delivered with the module itself. The question was, will view directory in module folder will replace base design package that located under design. Yes, it will replace the base design package that is located in the so design. Does that have any other on the, uh, no, that will not impact any other SIM processing. We have dedicated teams that are working on X-commerce features development and uh, they're working on Magento features development. Yes, please. Didn't get. We change what with every release. That when, when you change the, the schema, mm -hmm. the, the database for a new release, all the tables and all the queries, uh, you will have to operate the, your extensions or the, the, the development that you have done to communicate with the new schema. So how can you how can we skip that? Let's see. Okay, the question was uh, how we can avoid problems that related with data schema modifications. Uh, for such problem, the solution is easy, like you shouldn't really relate on our schema and put your, di if you have custom data, better to put it in dedicated templates. Uh, tables. And uh, with, for that, we will provide the recommendation, like right now with trusted extensions, we uh, combining all best practices for extension development, and it will be applicable for Magento 2 as well. We will provide how you should develop, uh, how you should develop your extension in order to avoid such problems with uh, scheme upgrades on Magento core side. For now, the question is, uh, the, um, do we have already any known backwards incompatibilities at this time? 
Yes, we do, and we upgrade it. First of all, we upgrade it, uh, file system structure, and we're doing a lot of global replaces for simplifying our configuration and removing performance overheads on our dependency injection implementation and all our configuration-based uh, functionality. Yes, please. Okay, the question is, uh, will be Magento 2 fully unit tested? We don't have a goal to cover dedicated, like uh, we don't have a goal to cover 100% our system with unit tests, but uh, we have acceptance criteria that any change that happens in Magento should be covered with unit or integration test that is actually also based on PHP unit. In such a way, like right now, we have about 14% coverage, uh, code coverage, but it's growing with every change, and then more changes we'll have. Probably for the release, I think we will have more than 50% covered. Okay, the question is, will be my X-commerce functionality will be by default in Magento 2, right? The answer is, if it is core Magento extension, then yes. Yes, please. The question is, will we have any, uh, do we have any updates for developer tools that will help uh, developers, right? Yeah, we already refactored our profiler and it's, which, uh, it looks much more informative in showing you entire uh, call stack uh, and it has uh, different output formats. But from other perspectives, like we're not doing any integra additional integrations with IDEs, like, but, yeah, we're thinking about developer and making like our life easier and you're trying to make your life easier as well. Yes, please. The question is, will we open source our uh, test suits? Yes, we will uh, release our test together with Magenta. Okay, then thank you everybody.